My beautiful, amazing Scorpios, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Welcome to your general reading for the month of November with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. In this reading, Scorpio, and you know, dealing with a Scorpio, wherever you've got Scorpio in your chart, we're looking at money, career, and love, and then we are ending off with a message from the universe using the Sot Tarot deck. All right, so let's get right into it. I would like to apologize, Scorpio, that I have been a bit delayed with posting videos there are some personal things that i needed to take care of in very good news though i have completed finally my advanced tarot reading course there's a link for it in the description do check it out the first couple of lessons are free all right so for money you've got the world judgment for career and for life you've got the seven of wands a little bit concerned there about love all right a little bit concerned there about love but we'll have a look and see when we clarify so when we look at money, end of suffering, end of suffering, end of challenges, end of lack, end of limitation, end of very hard times. And it's really, really great because I've seen that for quite a couple of the energies that I have been reading for Scorpio, which makes my heart very, very happy. So um, it's almost like you can get a sense of play. You may have, you know, it may have been that you that you were becoming or had to become very, very serious, you know, especially pertaining to money because, um, you know, you had to put food on the table and you had to maintain the roof, you know, and that sort of stuff. And I can see that you've done really, really well. You've done really, really well, Scorpio. But now you can sort of like, you know, take a bit of a breath and give yourself a bit of a breather. Okay. Career wise. There are, there are certain energies here that you need to let go. Now, you've got such a beautiful, beautiful heart, Scorpio. And you are always so kind and considerate towards everybody else, you know. And you, you don't want, um, you know, people to feel bad. You want to keep the peace. But calling a spade a spade, you need to let some energies go. you got to cut them off, all right? There are some energies here that you have to cut them off. You have to let them go. They're taking advantage of you. And you have to call this to an end. All right. There are people here that you may it, it may appear that like like they're not aware of what they are doing. It'll be like you know I don't know why I'm getting this, but again like oh shame they're in a wheelchair something that I'm getting, you know. So maybe somebody is using their um you know their disability or you know whatever it may be their misfortune, you know sort of to their benefit. Like they sort of like mocking the cow, you know, um, and they know exactly what they're doing to you. All right. And it's time to just to just put your foot down and say no. And I feel that no has to be more within you. If you put that no inside of you, it's like when you deal with a narcissist, the moment you say to yourself, this is no longer going to happen, I'm not going to fight with you. They, it's, it's almost like they get this invisible telegram to the sky and they just know. It's the same thing with this energy, okay? They will just know. And for love, I see beautiful, 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 beautiful opportunities for love, but don't rush it, you're going to crush it. All right. Um, you can let a person know how you feel. Then you can start working together at how to make things work. I do feel that for you, there's a sense of frustration that you're like, you know, it's not going to work, whatever. I'm just going to jump into bed with someone else. Do not recommend that. I do not recommend that. Not for you. You may miss out on something beautiful here. Okay. Beautiful and unique. Let's clarify. We're going to start by clarifying money. Tell me, my beautiful Scorpios, where in the world are we connecting from? I am in beautiful Cape Town in South Africa. Where are you at? Your cards are just presenting themselves. So for money, clarifying the world, we have got the Three of Cups, the Tower Energy, and the Nine of Wands. All right, Mars Energy there with the Tower Energy. So yeah, again, I feel that you... That you are, but you also sort of like were. So it's like R stroke were. Like, like you were at the right place at the right time. You did what you needed to do. You connected with your soul family. You needed to build your confidence. There's a lot of things in money that you needed to do, and you've done them. Like you check those boxes. All right? And you might be in a space where it's like you're motivated to move. You understand that you have to move, but you're like, oh. So let's imagine, let's say you're from Cape Town. You're like from the city. And say maybe you moved out of the city there for a while and it became very beautiful and you relaxed and you're like, well, I don't really feel like going back there again, you know, that sort of thing. But I do feel that it's time for you. It's like you need it. It's like the universe gave you a time out, but that vacation is done now. It's time for you to go back and to, 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 to shine, basically. Okay. Um, 
So if you are experiencing things falling apart, know that it's time for you to move on to the next level. Life is trying to tell you something. And I like to, when, when I'm in a space where things are feeling like that, you say to yourself, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Okay? Um, but there are beautiful, beautiful things that are possible here for you. There is, I feel like for some of you, you may have been running away from a hurt, from a pain, from a fear. It's time to face it now because you are stronger than it now. So it can no longer control you. And it's not about you controlling it now. It's about you no longer feeling small. Okay. Um, career. You need to know that you've got it and you got it now. Okay. Career, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpius. You've got the High Priestess, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man Energy. Make no sudden decisions and no sudden movements. It's like you know what you need to do, but you're trying to convince yourself that it has to be something different and you might be coming a little bit irresponsibly impulsive here. So just look out for that, okay? Um, let the universe give you those confirmation signs if that's what you need, ask for them, all right? Be mindful that you don't squalor things away. Um, so you might be feeling a little bit emotional, you know, a little bit sort of like, you know, all over the show. And be careful that you don't, as a direct result of that, you know, maybe entertain the wrong sort of people or stuff like that. Rather go quiet into prayer, into meditation, go for a walk, take a long bath, you know, sleep your heart out. Okay? That sort of thing. You, you might actually do better at the moment to to sort of like limit, sort of curb the time that you spend with other people, all right? Because your energy is very powerful at the moment, it's quite easily influenced, all right? Clarifying love there for you. Some of you are still judging someone by their past. Um, five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. The question is very simple, do you want them? Do you want them, do you want to be with them? If the answer is yes, then there is a definite opportunity to make it work. But you have to, it's like you have to decide on yes in your own head, in your own mind. You know, not just, well, if it's meant to happen, the universe will show you none of that shit. Do you want to be with this person or not? Do you want love or not? If you say no, you may not have the best experience going forward because you're lying to yourself. If you say yes, beautiful opportunity can flow through for you. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Let's see your message from the universe, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. And if you are open to a beautiful, amazing new future, everything to shine, place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, and say yes to it, and do me a beautiful favor, and go ahead and like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Message from the universe, you're ready for everything and more. Four of discs, four of swords, power. You are ready for all the beautiful things in life, and so much more then you can actually even currently imagine. How fantastic is that? All right. So that's what I got for you, beautiful Scorpio. May November be the most beautiful month of your life. Thank you for your time, your energy, your love and your life. I'll see you next time.